So we're going to do an example. Uh, combination questions and permutation questions can get more confusing. So we'll do an example of one of the most complicated ones that will help you out. So how many ways can we select seven cards from a deck if, and then we have a bunch of different restrictions we have here. So first thing we ask ourselves, does the order matter? So if you're playing cards, it doesn't matter what card you get dealt first, the deck's the same. So order does not matter, so we're using combinations. So the, for the first one, no restrictions. Well, how many cards are there total? 52 in a deck. What are we choosing? Seven. So the answer is 52 choose seven. Pretty easy. The next one says we need exactly three face cards. So how many face cards are in a deck? This is 12. Four of each type and there's Jack, Queen, King. So we need to pick three face cards from the 12 total face cards. So that's 12 choose three. But we're not done yet because we only have three cards and we need a seven card hand. So on top of this, we need three face cards and four other cards that aren't face cards. So the and is represented by multiplication sign. And how many cards are in a deck that aren't face cards? There's 40, because we take away the number of face cards from the total. So there's 52 cards, 40 cards that aren't face cards. And now how many do we need to round out the, the hand we're getting? Only four, because we already have three. So it's 40 choose four. Now the next thing we have is at least four hearts. So what does at least four hearts mean? So before we do this one, we'll write it out in a long way and then calculate it. So at least four hearts means that you could have four hearts or five hearts or six hearts or seven hearts because we're having a seven card hand dealt to us. So now we need to do separate calculations for each of these. So let's calculate how do we have four hearts in? Well, how many hearts are there total? 13. So 13 hearts, we're choosing four of them. And on top of that, we need to round out the deck to seven. So it's and multiply. The remaining number of cards that aren't hearts is 39. And we're choosing three from there. So that's how we calculate the first part. Or we can do five. So the or is represented by a plus. And now we have to do the same thing for choosing five hearts. So it's 13 hearts total, choosing five, and we're picking the rest of the cards, so it's 39. And this is always going to have to add up to seven because that's what we're taking. So 39 choose two. So that's for five. Now we have or six, so we do plus, plus to represent the or. Same thing, 13 choose six times 39 choose one and then finally to finish it picking seven means we're just choosing all seven cards as hearts so it would be 13 choose seven now if we want we could write and picking zero from the rest so 40 or 39 choose zero but that's going to work out to one anyway so we don't need to write it so when you're doing a question that says at least or it's complicated like this make sure you do the one intermediate step where you write this or that or that or that it'll help guide your thinking and make these go easier okay the final one will be no spades so we're going to use the indirect method for this one like we did in one of the previous examples so they're saying no spades so let's take the total and subtract from it the opposite of what they're asking. So what are the total number of ways we could select seven cards? We've already calculated it. 52 choose seven. So that's the total and now we're going to take away the opposite. So no spades, the opposite of no spades is all spades. So that would be choosing only spades, seven cards, all spades. So the total number of spades is 13 and we'd be choosing all seven from it. So that's how you do no spades. So anytime you see the word no, you know you're going to probably use the indirect method. Total minus what you don't want equals what you want.